Staying committed. Now that means keeping your eyes straight ahead, right? Right. So it looks like this title fits today. Don't look to the left or the right. Right. You correct. Mean, correct. <laughs> okay. In the process of continuing on and staying committed, it can be very tempting to look around and see what others are doing. It's not wrong to be inspired by or adopt new ideas from people around you, but it is wrong to compare yourself to them or put yourself in competition with them. Remember, your race is specifically marked out for you. Their race is specifically marked out for them. The methods they use to run their race may not work for you in yours, and that's okay. In 1 Samuel 17, as David was about to fight Goliath, King Saul puts his armor on David because he thinks it'll help. However, David is wise enough to recognize that what works for Saul, and what may work for him at a different time, doesn't work for him right now. Maybe you need to take a page from David's book and take off something that another person has tried to put on you. Hmm. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. Mm. The truth is that David's victory didn't come from what he used to fight with. It wasn't wearing or not wearing Saul's armor that was the deciding factor. Psalm 75, 7 says, God brings one down, he exalts another. It's important to remember not only to run your own race, but that God is the one who brings promotion and success. Another person's win is not your loss because it's not determined by physical factors, like a suit of armor or an algorithm or whatever you think you might need in order to get to the top. Boy, algorithms become a popular word. Mm -hmm. The pressure is taken off when you aren't looking around for confirmation, approval, or success. When you aren't measuring up yourself against anyone else or pitting yourself against anyone else, you are free to run your own race at your own pace and experience the joy and freedom that is found in the middle of your race. Hmm. Is there something you've picked up from someone else? Perhaps something was placed on you that you need to let go of. What would it look like to see the people around you as those you are running alongside rather than competing against? Mm -hmm. hmm. You know that's one of my favorite things to do. Yes. Is to turn competitors into partners. Right. Or at least friends. Take a moment to consider what success looks like to you even if it might not look like success to anyone else around you. Yeah. So let's be reminded here in 1 Samuel seventeen thirty-eight and 39. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. <laughs> David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to them. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. <laughs> Smart boy. Psalm 75, 7. It is God who judges. He brings down one. He exalts another. Galatians 1, 10. Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Very true. Dear Lord, please help us keep our eye on the prize. Like Paul says in Corinthians, that we're running this race and that we are to keep our eye on the prize. Help us to keep our eyes forward, not to look around, not to compare ourselves to others, but just, Lord, to help help to understand and to do your will. Mm -hmm. Lord, we love you and we ask for this help and put it all in front of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.